Hey, what's up guys, Vimo here. So, today I'm on Wizard101, which is a little different from the normal, from the normal, uh, gameplay that we have on this channel. Um, I've been wanting to, to kind of break it up into, like, uh, a bunch of, you know, a new games and stuff that I'm going to be playing, and, you know, just so it's not just one thing that you guys are seeing on my channel, so... You know, with all of that, I mean, like, I have been playing Toontown, which is definitely going to be continued. I have been playing Minecraft, which is going to be continued. And I think I'm going to start doing Wizard 101 videos now. Um, I did play Wizard 101 videos a long time ago, and uh, they were pretty successful, and I did have a lot of fun doing it. Um, but I kind of drifted from the game, and recently I kind of just, you know, started playing it again. And as you can see, I got the brand new Halloween attire that's out for a limited time only. And um, I think it looks pretty cool. And also, uh, for all you guys that play Wizard 101 out there, you guys know about the... Let's fix this. You guys know about the Harrowing Nightmare Packs, and I got... I don't even know, I spent so much... Uh, crowns on them, it's ridiculous, I only have 23 left, but I spent a ridiculous amount of, of uh, crowns on them, and I did get a lot of stuff, I got, I only got one of the wand that I have right now, which is the Tormentor Shredder, and that's pretty much the death version of the Jack Howell's Blues, which I got, I think I got like, maybe four, maybe five of these, but I sold them all, but this is the death version of it, and it's ultra rare, and I only got one of them, so I'm actually using that one, and it's actually, it's a pretty good wand, it comes with, if you guys can see that, the wand hit, they have a death and an ice one it comes with, and they both do 120 damage, it gives me an extra 67 crit rating for death spells, and an extra 4% incoming health, and you start with a power pip, so, it's, pretty good and as for the attire the attire doesn't come with any stats or anything uh mainly they just have it so you can stitch your current items to it which i did so i'm gonna stitch to it right now i have pretty much just it's all the old stuff i use and i also have the ninja pig outfit which i only bought the body for it just because it's so like ew i just wanted to have that just because that looks weird um uh coming from the harrowing nightmare pack you get these and this is, I guess, it's just a hat that it comes with, and there's a couple different ones. There's this one, and I've had them all, but I keep selling them. I've had a couple of each of them. Uh, this, I'm pretty sure you get from doing the Halloween quest, and then this you can buy at the Halloween store or whatever. <laughs> and um, everything else is, you know, it's pretty standard. These, I actually got in the Halloween Nightmare Packs. I got this one, which I actually believe I already have one. And then I got the new, uh, what's it called? The uh, Baby Harrowed Bones. Uh, I actually got two of them, which is pretty cool. And these are actually supposedly pretty rare. They don't give you any cards at birth. And their their pedigree is only at 45, which is not that great. So, I mean, like, if you do have this pet, this is something that you're going to want to train up to get stuff out of it. And, you know, just to have it for looks, I guess. Um, I use my little siren, though, because, well, first of all, she's a teen right now. I want to get her to an adult and, you know, maybe even higher. But I, I like using her because she comes with the siren spell, which is really great. Because when you're a necromancer like me, uh, you don't get spells that are that great. So, you know, it is good to have. And then down here at my pet pavilion, actually, let's go ahead and drop off. Off you and up oh, and I've no I have no idea why but for some reason the picture if you can see right here the Harlem bones there it's like a cabinet or something I don't, don't understand so uh, this is my pet pavilion we got a lot of I have a lot of pets and um, I mean like, I've been playing this game for a couple years actually and the only reason I stopped was well actually I don't even know why I stopped to be honest with you. I have way too many mounts in here. Um, there we go. Anyway, so I stopped playing for a little while, and I don't know. I just kind of recently got back into it, so I thought maybe we'd come back. And you know, being Halloween, they got a lot of stuff going on, so I thought this would be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, and I actually just finished doing the Pagoda uh, dungeon that I have with a friend and that was actually pretty cool. I should have recorded that for you guys. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know, uh, I don't want to really make this a long video, I just wanted to let you know what's going on in the future. Uh, 
as far as gameplay and stuff like that, I'm going to try and start making videos more. I know I've been kind of slacking off a little bit. That's just because during the week I'm insanely busy uh, between work and schoolwork. So, you know, I got a lot going on, but I'm going to try and start getting a lot more videos up for you guys. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe. And as always, stay tuned for more episodes coming up in the future. Questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave a comment below. Your opinions are greatly appreciated. Anyway, guys, once again, thanks for watching, and peace out.